This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, get your time. Don't give up what you want, take your time. Wait for the perfect Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter and it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, our weekly celebration of professional wrestling. Recorded live in the Sorgatron Media Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. And we got a very special interview edition of the show here this week. Usually, of course, we relegate this to the Indie Mayhem Show, but it is Wrestle WrestleMania season, so you get to change up the rules a little bit. As you definitely see in our Mayhem Manias from week to week. But uh, I have a very special guest with me. Uh, it is uh, Frankie Nielsen of the um, awesome Mania Club tailgate party. That If you guys are going down to New Orleans, you'll be seeing them in the parking lot. Hopefully participating in this. Uh, how you doing today, Frankie? How you doing? Uh, and we're going to get into it a lot of, uh, uh, about this. you got to be excited going into WrestleMania. You're just a couple weeks out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's coming up. Coming uh, faster than expected, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You look at the clock, you're like, oh, wow, that's two weeks. Wait, are all the matches? Wait, where's where's Undertaker? Uh, as of this recording, there's a question mark on that, right? <laughs> Everyone's waiting. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but anyways, we'll have a good conversation with you. But first, please check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to this show and all the other ones like the WMS Superfeed, Wrestling Mayhem Show, Indie Mayhem Show, and iTunes, Citrus Spreaker, iHeartRadio. And, of course, the video versions of all the shows on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube page. You can drop us a line to that email address, goodtimes at SorgatronMedia.com, 412-206-WMS0, Twitter at Mayhem Show, Facebook Wrestling Mayhem Show, and, of course, the re- wonderful Wrestling Mayhem show facebook group where there's a lot of conversation happening from week to week over there and of course typically you can check us streaming on tuesdays not so much this week uh but uh usually uh, probably about 48 of the 52 weeks uh, every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern time on the wrestling man show facebook page also thank you to our streaming partners the 405 media.com that have been carrying us at uh, 9 p.m pacific time midnight eastern time every night on the 405media.com so you can have sweet, sweet dreams dozing off to the sounds of mayhem. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, including our fan of the show, $1 level, Bo Diggity. Woo. The one person in the studio I was hoping was going to woo. Uh, but anyways, uh, also Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment, Tina Keys, and at the Pocket Club $5 level, they get the gold extra content our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling and Christopher Bishop. And at the $10 Pizza Club level, thank you so much to these guys. They get some special perks like the state of the show, uh, Billy Johnson and J.D. Jones out there. Uh, thank you so much. And you guys can support the show too. Help keep the lights on in the studio. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Now we got all that stuff out of the way. Frankie, like I said, you're, you, we, we had a good conversation about this. I got to get up to speed. And I think I've run into your event when I was at uh, WrestleMania 29, just wandering a lot around the the uh, the parking lot, tell us about uh, this tailgate party that you guys do. Uh, so basically, we uh, a few of us met actually at Mania, and uh, as you know, all wrestling fans know, the more you go to these shows, the more you kind of connect with you know people that have the same interest and uh as the years have gone on the tailgate has grown uh about three years ago it turned more into a charity event for connor's cure and uh this is going to be by far the biggest one we've ever had mm. that's amazing so 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 talk, tell me a little bit about that evolution a bit um you know of course connor's cure a big thing around you know, like here in Pittsburgh, of course, a huge thing for us too. Um, why, why getting uh, kind of involved with that charity for you? Um, you know, there's uh, there's three of us that are in charge. It's myself, uh, Ashante Owens, and uh, Gary Fonseca. Uh, we're the three leaders of the of the the tailgate. We uh, Gary actually his uh, 
he has an, an autistic child. Um, so he deals with, you know, disabilities with children on a daily basis. Um, so we kind of put our heads together. Uh, Connor's uh, Cure came out, and we thought that was a good avenue to kind of get the wrestling community behind and uh, try to raise some money for a good cause. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, and, and how many years have you been doing this again? This will be the uh, this will be the third year of the charity event, mm -hmm. but we've been tailed for uh, close to five years. Mm -hmm. And it's always been interesting, um, you, you know, realizing that the the WrestleMania weekend between you know not just WrestleMania, but now there's all these kind of extra cooker events around, it, including what you guys are doing, building the Wrestle Cons, and and you know every major indie to mid promotion is doing something around that weekend. It really has become like this international like celebration of wrestling weekend hasn't it it's unbelievable if if for everyone who's actually been to wrestlemania um i remember one of the 20 wrestlemania 29 you brought that up uh, i took a buddy of mine who was at wrestlemania before but never went for the week uh, and i took him with me he did our tailgate he did access he did wrestlecon and we were in New York. Obviously, I live in Philadelphia, outside of Philadelphia, so it's not that far. But you know, even doing WrestleMania in New York that year, it, you needed a vacation from the WrestleMania vacation because there's so much going on. Uh, people from all over the world. Uh, it's just, it's a it's an amazing melting pot of just people that just have a love for wrestling. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I mean, just like I, I know it was astonishing to me. Uh, my first WrestleMania going to MetLife Stadium and realizing like, wow, there's like like 70, 80,000 other wrestling fans in one place. And you can see them all. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it, it's different than seeing it on TV, tell, uh, believe me. And, and, and just seeing all the craziness in the parking lot. I mean, geez. Yeah, and you, you know, you go to, you know, I compare it, like I'm a, I'm a huge sports fanatic, and I go to sporting events. It, it really, you would think that it's similar, but it, it's really not. Mm -hmm. It's... Um, it's just so many, there, there's no, you know, nobody here gets upset unless you're a Roman Reigns fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, it's pretty much fair game from people dressing up as wrestlers to having wrestling matches in parking lots. Or if you've been at a WrestleMania that they've actually had wrestling matches in the stands before the show starts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, um, tell me a little bit about the atmosphere around these tailgate parties that you guys have. Um, what, you know, this is again, a charity event. Um, you know, how do people get involved in it and what can they expect from you guys if then they show up here in New Orleans? Well, um, this is going to be our biggest year, uh, by far. Usually, uh, myself and the administrators, we, we cook on the big massive grill this year. We took the easy route. We are being catered. Nice. Um, of, uh, tons of kegs uh it's going to be basically if you go to uh media club on facebook and if you go in there you'll you know, you'll be a part of the group uh obviously i'm going to tell you we started the mania club uh two years ago the actual mania club name and we're up to 1800 members and uh this year you could buy a ticket ahead of time and the earlier you did it, the better price you did. When we first initially knocked it off, it was thirty dollars to try to get as many people as we can because it's a it's a really hefty bill to uh, put all get all this money out um, to to pay for the caterers, the alcohol, the tables. There's a DJ. Uh, this is a really set up. This takes us basically from the year the time WrestleMania ends. We probably have a month off until we start the next year's up and ready. Mm -hmm. Just like real WrestleMania, just, just like WrestleMania itself, right? <laughs> it, it really is. Um, I mean, we really we have a really good time with it. Uh, this will be the first year that we actually get to enjoy it ourselves. We're usually, I know for myself, I'm usually running around making sure that things are restocked, reloaded, mm -hmm. everyone, you know, get being taken care of. Um, and this year, there's a lot more involvement with WWE, uh, Connor's Cure, the V Foundation, Hooters is involved this year with us. Um, the Pelicans look like they're going to be helping us out as well. 
Um, so we really have uh, the uh, channel, it's Channel 6 News, the local news for New Orleans is going to be uh, on the, the location as well with us this year. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be... Um, it's going to be a really big event this year, so we're looking forward to it. Awesome. Uh, tell me a little bit about that, because it, it's been, uh, like I say, WWE is kind of a little more involved in there. And you're telling me a little bit when we were talking before about how that came about and how, how it, it, it was, there was this, like, they've always kind of kept an eye on you thing, you said. Yeah. Um, well, I would say at the end of last year, uh, before the end of, well, before last year, we pretty much have done this on our own. No one's really acknowledged us as a uh, a group you could say other than our own followers uh at the end of last year stephanie mcmahon got in touch with us and thanked us for everything that we did for raising money for connor's cure and within probably two weeks we had the v foundation uh we had uh, connor's father get in touch with us his aunts uh it's been it's really kind of blossomed over the last year uh this year like i said there is um we have uh okay so this year we have uh of jersey that we did uh dana warrior has also reached out to us and uh and her her team so we're trying to piece everything together. Uh, we have a jersey we made up with for uh, Dana Warrior. We're going to be presenting that to her at Access this year. We're going to meet up with her privately and um, see who all shows up at the uh, at the at the tailgate. It's a that's awesome. We we're looking at some pictures here from the uh, group from uh, I think this is last year's. Yeah, the 2017 uh, WrestleMania tailgate party, um, and also you, we were talking about like you, you, you guys were also featured recently on WWE Network. That's uh, yeah. If you uh, for the Orlando uh, WrestleMania on the highlight videos, the tailgate for their action is our tailgate. Uh, there, I think they, I think this year they did. They had some of the guys that were dressed up as wrestlers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this year they're supposed to actually have camera crews at the tailgate this year where last year they kind of showed up unexpected. We didn't even know they were coming. We didn't even know they really knew who the heck we were. Um, but this year they've kind of taken a liking to us for some unknown reason. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, that's great. Uh, so, so, so what is it, what has it been like kind of, uh, kind of, bop, you know, putting this together for so many years and getting on that radar? You know, it, it's kind of a, it seems like a validation of what you've been doing for so long. Um, you know, my big thing is I, I like to just go have a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, and the fact that we're raising money for a good cause uh, is kind of the icing on the cake. I just really enjoy just uh, every year I take my, my daughter, she's 14 years old. So this will be her fourth WrestleMania in a row. Um and this will be my 19th WrestleMania. Wow. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> so more than half of WrestleManias. Uh, does that include the Toga Party? <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was actually at WrestleMania 1. So wow. A, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It, it, was, it was not a good day. It was not a good day, though. <laughs> I, uh, I, I actually received the biggest ass whooping in the world that day. And uh, I passed out from getting my ass whooped as a child for doing something. I have no idea what I did wrong. And my father woke me up and said, get your shit together. We're going somewhere. Oh, no. And I ended up at WrestleMania. So um, here we are, you know, 30 some years later, and I'm still going. There you go. There you go. You, had your, you started with your WrestleMania moment right at one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. So, how uh, you've been doing this for so long? Like, how much money has been raised for uh, these foundations so far? Oh, well, actually, uh, this so this year we are um, as of right now we're at five thousand mm-hmm. um, dollars, and then that's uh, it'll go up from here. The, when we get there, we sell uh, it's and it's all for profit. The the three administrators, other than whatever money we put out, we we get back. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it. 
Um, and that's up front. That's when we had to, like, when we had to do all the reservations for everything. Um, other than that, it's a, it's nonprofit. So uh, last year we did. Um, I think we were just at five thousand. This year, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up all said and done, probably between seven and eight thousand mm. um, dollars. We do uh, the jerseys we did. Um, the mini club jersey each year we're going to do those they're baseball style um we'll do a different team each year this is our first year this is also the first year we did t-shirts uh with, they're all connor cure um themed so there's crush 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 um there's so if you when you go to mini club on the on our facebook you'll see the shirts and so forth and um we also do a royal rumble raffle we do every year uh someone if you pick if you get the winner you win you actually win money you don't have to donate it some people just turn around and donate it back to the cause others keep it we don't put anything that you have to do it um but uh, you know we, we're called mania club but realistically the the main pay-per-views every year a large group of us uh get together for the week uh royal rumble Obviously, it was in Philly this year, so I didn't have to travel, but I still stayed up in a hotel for four days and because there's so many there's so many things that we're doing still. So between giving out jerseys, just touching base with people, um, and we also need local people in New Orleans to kind of help us out with some of the small things that we need to kind of make sure the tailgate goes off smooth, especially this year for parking. Uh, if you were at WrestleMania 30, Parking is uh, comes at a premium down there, and we have a ten spots right next to the stadium, which is where our tailgate is, and uh, it's all closed off. We'll be in there. I'll be in there actually at nine o'clock. The tailgate starts at eleven, goes till I think four o'clock. It's all you can eat. We have a local barbecue catering it with all the beer you can drink, all the food you can get. There's going to be beer pong. There's going to be special guests showing up throughout the day. Um, we're just waiting on final details of who's coming, how long, and so forth before we put it out there. That's awesome. That's awesome. The biggest one yet. Well, uh, looking forward to hearing. I'm hoping that we, I know we have some Mayhemers going down there. Uh, we're audience members or people part of the show that are going to be in New Orleans for WrestleMania here in a couple of weeks there. Um, so so uh, let, me, let me paraphrase some questions I usually throw out on the indie mayhem show um what what is the best and the worst thing about doing this event for so long what's the best and worst of what uh doing this event for so long the best part is meeting and forming relationships with all the wrestling fans that i've met over the years um real estate the uh tay the ashante he's really has become my best friend um, throughout all of this and uh, I met him at a wrestling event uh, and we got to tr travel all around the world and, and meet people uh, Gary is actually from Canada so you know we try to we all meet up and we have a good time whether it's you know having some drinks or going out to dinner or mm -hmm. you know our families getting together going on vacation together so the worst um, I would say uh, hmm. Well, my wife would probably say how much time I put in. <laughs> uh, but for me, it probably would say up until this year, I never get to enjoy myself on the day of WrestleMania until me and my daughter sit in our seat. Yeah. Uh, this should be different because I'm not cooking this year. I don't need to worry about anything other than from 9 in the morning till about 11, making sure everything's set up properly. And after that, I'll be having some drinks and just enjoying myself so this will be the first year that i actually get to enjoy myself so i'm looking forward to it nice well i'm looking forward again to uh the the, the seeing the, the the images or you featured in the next 24 7 special perhaps uh for wrestlemania uh new orleans uh where can people find out more information and uh get their tickets uh to make sure they are locked in for this thing uh, so the simplest way is, like I said, go to Mania Club on Facebook. Uh, just do a request to join the group. Uh, it'll come right to me. I'll approve you guys. And uh, when you look on there, if you want to join the tailgate, I said I was going to do this for uh, 
the podcast. So like I said, in the beginning of the podcast, um, when we first did the tailgate, it was $30, all you could eat and drink. And obviously, if you've ever been to one of these events, if you go to any bar downtown, you know it's going to cost you an arm and a leg to have to enjoy yourself with food and drinks. So what I did is I did it for $30 to try to get as many people as possible on there. Uh, as of the other day, we had over 300 people already paid for their tickets up front. Uh, so... I have to order all the food and enough beer to accommodate all you can eat and drink. And uh, we have a ton of people coming from Europe, and they're massive drinkers. And uh, so I have to make sure we have enough alcohol uh, or they're going to. So uh, they're talking about beer pong, uh, basically keg stands all day. So we have to be prepared for that. So the easiest way is, like I said, go to Mania Club, uh, go in there, just private, uh, my contact information is on here, private message me, uh, Eventbrite. We also have our event on Eventbrite for the tailgate. Uh, that'll be at, I think it's at $50 or $40 right now. You can probably message me, I can try to get down to the 30 for you guys um just i was trying to get some, some more people at the end here mm-hmm. uh, but other than that it's just you know to show up have a good time and um uh, we're right next to the stadium you're not gonna be, you're not gonna miss us we're gonna have a dj and uh we actually have a podcast running from our station which will have that's where we have some interviews coming from uh it looks like some of the nxt guys are supposed to be showing up mm-hmm. so um so we'll go from there awesome Looking forward to it. Uh, you guys will be hearing about it. I can't wait to hear the stories and images. Please please share them with us also, uh, the Wrestling Mayhem Show, because uh, we'll, we'll definitely be sharing those out during the weekend as well. And it's a, it sounds like a fun event around the grandest wrestling event, uh, we'll say in the world. Yeah, yeah, it's still better than Wrestle Kingdom, right? Wrestle Kingdom hasn't caught up with us yet. Might we, might, yet. <laughs> might we expand to a tailgate party at Wrestle Kingdom? <laughs> I'm up for it. I'll, I'll be on that one right away. <laughs> I want to. I want to see what a what a what a Japanese uh, tailgate party is going to encompass too. So awesome! Uh, hey, congratulations on all the success you've had. I mean, getting getting attention to WWE and everything again for a, a great, amazing cause. Uh, we're big supporters of Connor's Cure here, uh, of course. You know, being you know Pittsburgh original, uh, where that comes from. So uh, thanks a lot, Frankie, for uh, joining us, and good luck with everything. Right. Thanks a lot, and. Uh... Hope to see some of you guys down at Mania. So thanks again. All right. So go check that out. We got links. We'll have links in the show notes for this um, on the podcast as well as uh, in the Facebook groups and pages and everything too. So please go check it out. And uh, definitely want to see a lot of Mayhemers down there uh, hanging out with Frankie and the crew. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to Go give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.